Okay, welcome back to the Designer Gamer. Today we're going to be playing another Bit Generations game. It's called Colorus. Let's jump right in. Okay, so this game is a simple uh, kind of match three tile game, but what's interesting about it Actually, the demo's playing right now, so I guess just talk for a minute. Um, what's interesting about it is that instead of moving tiles around, what you do is you have a cursor, and um, the cursor will change the color of the tile. And then, um, and once you match three of the same color in a row, um, then it, you'll clear the tiles. So let's just jump right in and play a little bit. So there's two modes. There's a score mode, which is an endless mode where you could just play endlessly. And you could, um, you could toggle through how many colors you want to be able to cycle through. I, when there's more colors that'll, that you could cycle through it, I guess it makes the the game more complex because there's more colors that you're dealing with so actually very often the differences in colors are very subtle as you could see just like 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 the difference between this purple these three shades they're probably very uh, very subtle especially in the heat of the game so Right. It could get a little complicated, but I don't think we're going to do the, the endless mode. Let's just start with uh, some of the basic stages. I did happen to unlock advanced stages, um, so we could take a look at those, but uh, let's just start with something basic first. See, like this. There's a lot of colors that you'd be cycling through. Um, there's This game has an interesting amount of depth to it one that you don't really see at the surface when you start playing but it comes through so let's just start okay so there are only four shades of color for this first stage okay so here's my cursor and the cursor will randomly change color I actually the this box up there shows what the cursor will change to next and when I select a shape it'll add a shade of that color to the selected tile right so this is like a, a light orange kind of thing so I'll add some red to it and it'll make it a little darker orange here if I add the yellow to this orange it makes it lighter so the object is to match um, three tiles in a row at least and then it kind of fills up this gauge up here and then um, when it's completely full you get to advance to the next stage so let's just try and clear the stage Oh, there's some gray, gray tiles. So when you have gray tiles, none of the things that, none of the clears that you do count. So you have to clear the gray tiles so you can continue the game. Oh, and gray tiles appear when it takes you too long to do certain things. I think if you haven't interacted with a tile, there are these little animations happening inside the tile, and if it takes too long before you interacted with certain tiles, um, they will turn into gray tiles, and then you'll have to clear those before you could continue filling up the gauge. I like the sound effects that they use here. They're kind of like 
Almost like phone dial tones. Very interesting. There we go. We cleared the... Uh, right, so this... I mean, to this, these two look very similar to me, so... I didn't realize that they were different. So you have to be constantly examining all these colors. Oh. Okay, every so often you'll get a power-up box. So you can change the color of the box. Just like a regular tile. And once you match this X one, it'll clear all the tiles in an X shape. Okay, let's try and concentrate here a little bit. Um, there we go. Okay, so if it's all the way to that color, like I couldn't add any more red to this, it'll kind of just jiggle like that and to let you know that that's as far as it could go. Okay, we got another X. See that? It's all the way yellow, so it won't go any further. Right. And once you clear the stage, we fill the gauge, you clear the stage. Okay. On to the next one. Okay. So now... Let's try and play it quickly. Okay. Also, if you noticed in the upper left hand corner, you'll see that when you do combos, which means when you do a match and then the pieces fall and another match happens, these little exclamation points appear up there. Um, and that shows that you made a combo. So I guess it's important to keep an eye on which tiles are moving faster? I guess in this is in this stage there are little lines, but I think in other stages there are different little animations happening inside there. Here we go. We got the X. Pow. Okay, we're getting a nice combo here. And we cleared the stage. Okay, this one is a little complex because everything looks so similar. Pow. I think sometimes focusing on the bottom could be helpful. At least that's what was working for me last night while I was playing the score mode. Because, um, I guess you're focusing on one row and you, you're clearing them out. And then all the other ones fall downwards and you can clear them as they come to you. So, uh, I think that works kind of well. At least it was working for me last night because I played a really long run. Or at least it felt long. Okay, so here's a bigger one with the same first few colors that we started off with. Okay, we're getting a nice combo here. I personally am not really paying attention to 
to um, the next indicator. Because I'm busy focusing on the uh, on the game board. Pow. There actually is another power up. I didn't see it here yet. But um, it would be nice if we could get it. So I could show it to you. But I don't think there are any more. Okay. This is going pretty smoothly. Okay. the simple little musical tones that play when everything is kind of falling down on itself. It's like somebody's running their, their finger across the synthesizer piano. I mean keyboard. But pressing one key at a time. It's kind of cute. I think so anyway. But I guess what I appreciate about this game is that you don't really find something this simple and straightforward. And um, it's just a very simple puzzle game. And uh, uh oh. There we go. I think they clear faster if you do it on the side of them. Uh-oh. We're getting more tiles. Oh, nice. There we go. Huh. Uh oh. Here's one. Okay. There we go. I think if you clear tiles alongside, like on the side of those gray tiles, they'll clear immediately. But if they're above or below, it'll take two tries. I could be wrong about that. We could try and experiment. But hopefully we won't see any gray tiles. Cause that, that's what I prefer. Because that just means that things are getting slowed up. It's interesting to know who's, who these games were targeted at. They're kind of like quirky little puzzle games. Oh, let's see. That's That looked like it matched to me already. Because the color differences are so subtle that uh, sometimes you may not notice.
Okay. <laughs> Trying to clear this is not really cooperating. Uh oh. Found I cleared it. Okay, no. You have to clear something twice. Even if it's by the side, it will not clear yet. Okay. Ah, oh, man. And I just cleared that. Oh no. There we go. Here we go. So this one, this one clears out all of the same color of the color of the tile is at the time that it's cleared. So let's say the tile is all the way red. It'll clear out all the reds on the board. So that could be very convenient. And also you could probably save yourself um, if there are a bunch of gray if if that power up piece gets converted to a gray tile and then it gets cleared, it'll clear all the gray tiles. So that's a way that you could save your neck in certain situations. Um, I didn't really know that until yesterday. Oh, here we go. So let's try it. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I get a little confused as to which color to do. But, uh... I get the hang I got the hang of it basically. Hmm, that was lucky. Nice. There we go there. Sometimes it's, like I mentioned, sometimes it's hard to uh, spot all, this, all the similar pieces. Ah, oh, they're going to make me work for it. Oh, that's clear. So it's much more complex. There we go. second. I just noticed something nice here. Can make a nice big. Okay, <laughs> that didn't really make a difference. There we go, that cleared.
Mm -hmm. Girl, I don't really have much of a strategy for. Oh boy. Now we're gonna have to clear this. It's all over the place. Can I pull myself out of this rut? I don't think so. It's hard for me to play and talk at the same time. But all my tiles are slowly changing. It would take a miracle to win at this point. It's happening today. Uh, let's just finish it off. Okay, that could help a little bit. Sometimes the power-ups could kind of save your skin here and there. There we go. Um, let's try that. See, I made it purple. Uh, that's going to clear out all the colors of that tile that I just cleared out. And that was that. Hmm. I need some red here. There we go. See, it's really hard to tell sometimes. That didn't really help. for blue. There we go. Hmm. We're kind of stuck here. Because we're not advancing because we still have gray tiles. Looks like you get the point. It's a nice pick up and play um, puzzle game. Match three. It's using a color, <laughs> which um, most games of this genre rely on other visual elements. This is really keeping it simple. And I think that's what makes it a little charming. Um, and it's something that you might want to try. So, um, let's just finish, like, finish this stage, either win or lose. And then maybe we could call it quits. Let's see if I can pull it off. Uh, 
Uh oh. It's looking kind of bleak. Still not fixed. Yeah, this is what was happening last night. The things are kind of dragging on a bit. Cleared something I didn't mean to clear. Ta -da. Just, it just keeps changing gray. I'm not fast enough. It's okay. I don't have to be good at every single game. Only most of them. Alright. Come on, just finish me off already if I'm doing that terribly. It's just prolonging the agony. But if you get really good at this game, it could be a lot of fun. But again, you know what, let's just quit out. Let's try the advanced mode. I know there's interesting different shapes or different backgrounds. Let's try this one. Okay, it's like a cherry blossom. Mm. It's even hard to see a little bit because they're so light. But it's pretty straightforward. You know, the lighter, the lighter shape will make it lighter, and the darker shape will make it darker. I mean, the darker cursor. I like the ooh. Look how the cherry blossoms are kind of blowing through all the tiles. That's a nice it's kind of like a mask effect. Maybe we could win. Oh, I spoke too soon. Here come the evil gray squares of death. There we go, that's cleared. There's just one, one more. There we go, cleared. Nice. There we 
actually finished. Let's try this one. There are some instances where selecting a tile will make it automatically a gray tile. There are some more complex stages where you're dealing with more than um, let's call them one quadrant of the color wheel. And I guess when you so select a shape you select the color while your cursor is a color that doesn't really match that color quadrant. Um, it'll automatically turn it into a garbage tile. That was fast. Oh, these backgrounds could be a little jarring. Also, I think I... I read that uh, this game is probably not good for colorblind people because it's heavily reliant on being able to identify colors, as you can see. So, um, yeah, this is only for people who could see in color. <laughs> you know, there are some app store games that work with color. And I remember one having some kind of option to to account for people who are colorblind, but I don't remember what game it was. Anyway, this one feels like it's gonna be more complex. You know, let's quit out of here. Now let's try score mode. Look at that score. That's pretty big. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see if I can get right here. So, um, I'm not noticing, um, yeah, this isn't the stage I wanted to do. Okay, let's try, I think it was basic 10. Right, see, so there's red, and then yellow, and then blue. Those are the three primary colors. So they're all here, so if you press, um, I guess like let's say I press a blue cursor on an orange thing, it might turn it gray. So let's see, so red on a green might turn it gray. Yeah, see? But on a red on a purple, since it's right next to purple, would work. So you gotta be careful which tiles you're selecting, otherwise you will turn them gray just like that. Anyway, I think that's enough for this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you could try and check it out. Either way, have a great night and catch me in the next video. Bye-bye.